Hey guys, okay, so today I am going to try out Almay Smart Shade Anti-Aging Skin Tone Matching Makeup. And I got this, I believe, on Ulta, and it was buy one, get one 50% off from Almay, so I got their new, um, it's like a quad. Um, same colors, just one is matte, one is shimmer, one is uh, more glittery. So I got this as well. And it's funny because I'm looking online and they do have new packaging, but they sent me the old look. Hmm. Okay, same same product though. Um, I got it because it says anti-aging and you know me and anti-aging, I'm like grabbing anything I can. So this goes on, um, not clear, white apparently. It goes on white and it's supposed to match to your skin tone, which kind of reminds me of like a chameleon. So, um, let's see, I'm thinking it's gonna be more like a BB cream or something because I don't believe, that this is definitely probably not full coverage and I'm trying to see on here, let's see what it says. Um, now available in more shades, da, 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 da. Just blend to reveal your best match. Which, you know, is hard for me because sometimes I go and I always get the wrong match to my skin. So hopefully this works, let's see. Uh, formulated with the latest and exclusive Almay Tone Mimic Shade Sensing B technology. Instantly transform, instantly transforms from white to your perfect shade when blended into skin. Buildable coverage and natural looking streak free color. So buildable coverage. Okay, I guess you could keep putting it on if you feel like it's not covering everything like your blemishes and whatnot. Uh, helps minimize the appearance of fine lines and pores, doesn't settle into lines, skin looks refreshed and healthy. Okay, so let's try it out and you know, it has an SPF of 20 in here, which is really good. I mean, don't just rely on this if you're going in the sun though, like you should always put at least 30 on your face if you're going to be in the sun, but for every day running in and out to work and errands, I, I think it's fine. So I do have uh, primer on. I primed my eyes so I could use the eyeshadow and I did do my um, my brows. So let's do I shake it? I don't know. Let's see. I'm going to shake it anyway. So let's get right into it. Okay. I'm just going to put some on. Okay. Put some on. It is. I mean it's white for sure. Oh did I put too much up there? Some here, it literally looks like sunscreen. I don't know how well this is gonna actually cover my face as far as it like an, a foundation wise. But um, I guess we're gonna find out soon. Can we get my hair out of the way? It's always in the way. <laughs> I feel like I'm putting, oh, I gotta wash my eyebrows. I feel like I'm putting, foundation on. I mean sunscreen on. It's kind of weird how it's white. Make sure I get that spread. I, mean, I don't know how long it's going to take to kind of match into my skin. Maybe it oxidizes as time goes on. Okay. Um, I gotta tell you, it like kind of dis it seems like it disappears, but I don't know if you can see it, but I feel like I have a coverage of foundation. But it's so natural. It's like the most natural feeling. Like, you know, I guess, I mean, I don't have a crazy amount of blemishes, but I do have some, you know, red and uneven skin tones. So I feel like it kind of helped me out with that. I mean, I don't even look like, feel like I have foundation. I'm gonna put just a little more on, just my cheek area. I don't feel like, oh, I don't feel like I look like I have foundation on, which I personally like for every day because I don't want to look cakey and all that. And I want to look as natural as I can, but still have that coverage that foundation does. And I'm gonna tell you something, I'm actually impressed right now. I'm really impressed with this. 
I think it looks really good. I don't know if you can tell, but um, let me do the rest of my face and then we'll come back and we'll do the um, quad and then we'll see, you know, how this uh, goes throughout the day, okay? Be right back. Okay guys, I'm back and I put some bronzer on, bronzer on and um, I really am really liking this. I'm calling it foundation. It says foundation if you look it up, but it's really, it says skin tone matching makeup. It doesn't have the word foundation technically on here. Um, and this is in the color, by the way, light slash medium, number 200. I like it. I really like it, like for every day. Actually, I even am liking it. Well, we'll see how the day goes. Let's see how the day goes. It's, it's not greasy, it's not shiny, it's not matte. I don't feel like I have a lot of makeup on, which I love. Like, I, again, I don't like cakey, and let me just get closer in. I mean, I feel like it makes my skin look really good. I don't know, I see it. I don't know if you see it, but I see it. I, um, I, I think my skin looks really good right now. Uh, I just did the bronzer again, and um, just fix my eyebrow a little there. Um, yeah, I think it looks really good, and the true test will be during the day, right? So, let's go into this Alme um, Eyeshadow Quad. This is in the number 150, Pure Gold Baby is what it's called. Okay, there were a lot of shades very similar to this, like, it's almost like, are these all the same? They're just so similar, but I just picked this one. I thought this would be pretty. And um, let's, let's try it out. Okay, so even though I, um, I primed my eyes, my eyelids, I'm just gonna put a little of my, go into my naked. I always use this, if, if an eyeshadow palette doesn't have, you know, a color that is just like this, like neutral, where I can just kinda give me my base, I'll just go in there quickly with that on top of it. This way the colors are true to what they are, you know? If you don't do that. Okay, and I'm gonna go a little under. By the way, I just went under there and it just reminded me of um, concealers. Like, I I don't use concealers, really. I guess I could say, like, I don't really have too bad of darkness in my eyes, so I, you know, for that reason I don't. I cannot stand when concealers make you look cakey here, and I've tried, I, I mean, it doesn't look bad, but I feel like, well, why do I do I need this? I prefer, honestly, because I do love brightening up below here, Smashbox, like just a powder. And you can see I hardly have any left, and I don't want to buy another whole one when I still have this. And I've tried other ones, and I don't know what it is, but um, Smashbox, want, Smashbox just gives me such a beautiful color under the eyes. And I might just actually, <laughs> now that I do this, buy... Another whole $35 palette just for the light one because I love the way it looks. That's what I do for, con I mean, it's not concealer, but I just put some in there. And I, you know, everybody's different. Everybody has different needs. And I just personally don't need for the dark eye concealer. Like, the, I don't have too much darkness under my eyes, so I don't need concealer. And I'm going to tell you something. I literally bought... I bought like a bunch of concealers. I was gonna do a video on them and show which one with the fine lines and all that, because they do have fine lines. But then I'm like, but I don't use concealer, so why would I do a video on it? I mean, I use it, I do use it if I'm going out. I kind of, I don't know why, I feel like I have to. And then sometimes I feel like I look like I was in the sun with sunglasses on, because it's too bright. So it's just not my thing. I'll use it sometimes, but it's not my favorite. Okay. That's a different topic. Let's get back to the main topic of Alme. Okay, so going in with this quad, um, looking at it, and I'm gonna go in. Yeah, I didn't. Talking so much, I didn't do a transitional color, so I'm just gonna do a quick, uh, again, in my Naked palette, just a quick transitional color. I'm gonna go in with the matte color, and I'm gonna go in above my crease, right over the transitional. Okay, this is nice, typical up my alley of coloring. Yeah, this whole quad is typical of what I would do, brown. But that's okay. 
Okay, and again, we don't have too many colors to work with here, so. All right, um, I'm gonna go in this corner here with this lighter. It does have a little shimmer to it, but let's see, uh, put it on my lid. I'm not gonna go all the way to the end because I'm probably gonna use that matte even more, layer it to make it darker. So I really just want to try and stick with this one palette. So I'm gonna do that now. I'm gonna go back into the matte, but I'm gonna layer it up to get it darker in the corner if I can. I'm kind of just combine it with the layer up here that I did, the same color. Okay. I'm gonna go in now with the other corner. This is kind of gold. I mean, they're all gold, so this shimmery one, I'll say. And I'll go in and stick to the center more. It's pretty. Very golden eyes. Okay, that's pretty. I'm gonna go back into the mat and put it underneath my eye. That looks pretty and I'm lying. I'm gonna go back into my naked palette just to just to add a little brightness to my brow bone. And just a little in the corner. Nothing crazy. I'll be right back because I'm gonna go put on some liner and mascara and uh, some lipstick and finish this look and we'll see how we feel about the Al May makeup. Okay guys, I am back and um, I just finished my look here. I put some mascara, my eyeliner and my lipstick on and I did just put a little bit of my Milani um, Conceal Perfect Shine Proof Powder on. Like literally, I just did a little bit. I kind of, I'm liking this. I just do a little bit during the day and, you know, it looks okay. I still look shiny sometimes, but, you know, it, it's, I like it. But I really love this, found, I'm calling it foundation. I don't know if it's considered foundation or not, but I did not think, I thought it was going to be like, eh, it's a BB cream, good for running out to the store on a Saturday or whatnot, but um, I love it. And um, I think it looks really natural. My face looks so, like, my skin looks so good from what I think that from what other products I've used like I don't know I just love that it looks so natural it doesn't look thick or cakey I don't see texture in my skin I my pores don't look out there like some you know foundations make me look I feel younger so maybe it is anti-aging working I don't know it's really good guys buy this I mean how much was this let me see hold on one second this this is like 14 bucks okay um, you can't go wrong this is really good and I'm gonna I plan on using this all the time I love the way the makeup quad came out I think it's beautiful colors and if you want to brighten the lids even more you can mix it with other shades which I'm definitely gonna try that um, I'm really liking I don't, want to, I don't want to say I'm surprised because like I shouldn't say that. Almay is a, a good name, but I didn't expect to be this. I'm a little blown away. I'm going to say it. I really think it looks good. And um, I'm going to catch back. I'm going to come back. Uh, it is 12.15 now. So, and it's a Saturday. So I'm going to come back around um, 5 because I got to get ready to go somewhere. And we'll see how this makeup went, and um, hopefully I can leave it on online. I'm sure I can, and we'll see even how it goes. And then I'll test it again for work one day, and I'll let you know below how that went. And um, I think it's going to do good. I really, really like the way that this looks. So, um, I'll get back to you. Hey, guys. Okay, so I'm back. It's after 5 p.m. Um, I... I kind of lounged around, I did some laundry and stuff, I did change, but now I'm back. 
into my prettier clothes and I put my earrings back on because I'm getting ready to go out and um, yeah so I think that my makeup stayed really nice it's a little shinier but not like I'm telling you this makeup even my husband came home and said oh wow you know you look really good not you know considering he said my makeup looked nice like my husband I mean he notices but not really usually <laughs> Yeah, so I'm really impressed still with this Alme um, Smart Shade Anti-Aging Skin Tone Matching Makeup. I am going to be using this all the time, but um, I'm going to touch up just a bit. I'm going to use my Milani again, um, Conceal Perfect Shine Proof Powder. I'm just putting a little bit here and there just to touch it up, but like this really lasted the most part of the day. I really love it. Um, the eyeshadow looks great. The only thing I'm going to do right now, only just to kind of change it up a little, is lighten my um, my lids a little. Um, but honestly, like I just loved, I love the way everything looked. You know, I don't, I really, I'm going to be using this like all the time for work, every day for work. Um, I'm just putting a little glitter on the lid just to kind of brighten it up a little. But I'm going to be using this um, quad eyeshadow all the time as well because I think the color is just so pretty. I just wanted to lighten it up a little so you could do that with, with this eyeshadow just to kind of give it a little more brightness. But I loved it. I'm going to be using it again. And um, I think I'm even going to use, I have an event coming up, I might use this foundation and this eyeshadow and call it a day because I'm impressed. So yeah, and um, just giving a little, just touching up for the night, and I'm getting ready to go out. I'm gonna put some lipstick on. Okay guys, and there we have it. That's the update, and um, yeah, go out and buy this because so worth it. Okay, I loved this, and make it my everyday makeup, and again, they're piling up because I have a lot of everyday makeups that I keep saying I'm going to use, but this one like I really am because it's natural and I want to go to work looking natural. I don't want to go to work with like heavy makeup on, but I might use this even when I go out. So I don't know. I just, I loved it. And um, yeah, so that's that and a little shine there. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't and have a great day.